I is back. The mushroom is back. The shroom? Yeah. No. I don't sit in the dark. <laughs> I, I'm not... I don't sit in the dark and I don't feed myself bullshit. Uh, I hear you. Alright. Uh, I need to get rid of floating objects because I've made the surrounding area a bit dangerous. What did you do? Uh, there's a whole bunch of loose ice floating around that I couldn't catch. Ah, okay. So, probably a slight freeze as I do this. Okay. Or maybe not. Okay. Uh, I've gotten uh, like three or four loads in there. All right. It's probably done it through it into the tanks. That's something I can never bring myself to do is to microwave a pizza. <laughs> Even the little Tostinos and Tony's pizzas, ugh. Microwave, I just can't do it. Well, it, these are these aren't bad because they have little reflective sheets that give the the uh, crust a baked esque taste. Yeah. But man, Red Baron used to be the be all end all of frozen pizzas. Oh yeah. If I uh, if it wasn't for the fact that. Uh, I don't trust my toaster oven. Mm -hmm. Without me there, I would have toasted a, them in the toaster oven. Yeah, you could always set up a little thing in your room, probably. <laughs> I mean, you, you did put a refrigerator no. in there. <laughs> That's under the desk. Ah, gotcha. Uh... Dude, hand mining sucks. Mm-hmm. Uh, local place, the restaurant I told you about before, they they home make their own chorizo sausage. Ooh. Oh. And this is where we get to the difference between capsaicin spice and flavor spice. Their flavor spice, they way, way overdo it. You better have some serious amounts of water on hand, but my <laughs> God, is it good. Oh yeah, definitely doing that tomorrow now. <laughs> Get a pepperoni. And I'll end up getting some fresh mushrooms, bell peppers, some black olives. And a whole bunch of jalapenos and bake all that together. <laughs> I will regret it about an hour later, but man. And I'll have to admit, for something you get out of Walmart, those market fresh pizzas are really freaking good. Yeah. There's a lot worse things oh, yeah. out yeah. there. Um, I used to get these pizzas that were like a buck or two. Less than a buck, actually. I think they were 97 cents. Mm -hmm. That were toaster oven pizzas. And, excuse me, the only reason why I loved them was, uh, they reminded me of the school square pizzas, the rectangular pizza that you get. Somebody uh, else remembers them. Oh my were, god. For as horrid as they were, those <laughs> were amazing. Yes, they were. Oh, God, I love those things. It's like childhood coming back now. <laughs> you 
Now, was is it only I that remembers the cheese being a strange color? Like, it didn't quite look like it was real cheese? Depends on who made it. Gotcha. Because our, our when I was in kindergarten, our school shifted from Cisco Systems to... Or, no, from something to Cisco Systems. Mm-hmm. And when it, whatever it was before, it had the odd cheese. Okay. Odd looking cheese. Ah, Not Cisco's. Um, there was another one. Um, Aramark was the one that was first, and what was the other one? I can't remember what the. the we had our own sh cooks for the cafeterias, but the people that delivered the food. Right. So, uh, Con uh Conarium gave, yes. me, gave me its first legit scare that wasn't really a jump scare, but for me it was, because I wasn't prepared for what was about to happen. <laughs> and, uh, thankfully I caught it while recording, but, uh, if it had scared me any further, I probably would have fell back in my chair. <laughs> I jumped back. Um, throughout the whole game so far, it's kind of lured me into this false sense of, okay, this is just a very atmospheric puzzle game. Yeah. And then it forced me into running away from something. Just ah. out of the blue. Um, and, before yeah. you go mining too much further, yep. can you try and get that? Get what? Can you see the shadow that I'm casting? Yes. Deadly, deadly, deadly. Wow. Oh, I call shenanigans. What? That's a whole lot of stone that come out of that little speck. And a chunk of ice. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Deadly little specks. There's actually two or three things I would love to be able to buy in bulk that we used to get at school. Mm -hmm. uh, one was the coleslaw, which there was a restaurant that used to use the same stuff because one of them was our lunch lady. Um, the coleslaw had a, a simple but really good flavor to it. It was, you know, it was good coleslaw for what it was. Um, and the cinnamon rolls. I don't know if your school had these cinnamon rolls, but these things weighed a pound. And they were good, and fluffy, and sweet, and had raisins. Oh, I miss those things so much. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have a food guess I'm here in a minute if I keep thinking about so many things. Keep it in your pants. Try to. Uh, that's a hydrogen bottle. Where's the oxygen bottle? Alright, so we are short 141. Okay, the oxygen generator is not piped up to that. Where do I go? Um, the other side, or this one here. It, it's because of the reactors. Um, right. Uh huh. Let me put my stuff back in a container. Yeah, and I am going to move the stuff out of the meeting container. My meeting container out. Uh, do I need to bring my elite stuff with me? Shouldn't. Okay. And is there because we've already here? I'm sorry. Uh, nope, no, no asthma or as even. What kind of containers do we have on there? They're they're the medium asthma. Ah, I see them. I need to pull a little bit, a bit of uranium. Alright. Uh, I'm going to have to park Just over on those other sides. Hmm? These ain't piped up anymore either. Uh. Yeah, if I hit D to move over, I'm kicked out of... Yeah. This, 
Is that my keyboard? I don't, I don't know. I don't get the bip noise when I hit it. No, because it's backing up too. And... Keen. Seriously. It might not be keen fully. It might be your uh, <clears throat> wonderful mod that lets you uh, your your docking alignment mod. It could be. I may have to ditch it. We'll find out. All right, azimuth container. Uh, no, I cannot drag stuff to the azimuth container from here either. That's my fault. That's because it's in my. But it's in my cockpit. Did I put stuff from my body to my cockpit? I don't remember doing that. Okay. Uh, That's nice. Yeah. It's the uh, cockpit's not piped up quite right before that to work. Okay. And all of a sudden, I can. Why can I not move? Huh? Range. Uh, I can. I, I can only move random things to the azimuth container. Maybe the way you have it piped up. I know a display is not a large item. Or is it? Yeah, you, it's. Are you taking it out? Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, piping might be a little bit weird, but. A small item like a uh, display should have moved through because everything else did. Yeah. Unless displays are no longer small. And that's true. It could be. All right. So I think everything's been moved out. All right. I have so, taken a seat. A Remora Mark II may have to make an appearance. Okay. Yeah, no, it's Ooh. like... Dude, it's like none of my thrusters are working proper. Really? Yeah. Like, I kick on... When I hit forward, it kicks on like it's full thrust, but that's the fastest I'm going. With um, stage thrusters. You're overloading. I know I'm overloading. I'm always overloading when those things are on. How many reactors? Uh, just one? I think. Inventory. Hang on, I'm gonna try something here. I don't... You have no fuel in your large reactor. What am I running off of? Oh, the battery. I ran out. <sighs> so I'm running off that little battery then. Yep. Well, we, le we left it processing uranium, so... Remember? Yeah. So I put some five uranium in there. All right. Where are we going? To four. Pick it. Four? four? Uh, yeah. For me, it would be position four. Six okay. kilometers out. Right. Uh, no. For me, two. Eighteen point one four, I think. Okay. Kilometers. Because I think six is where we were, where we uh, uh, had the small little uh, resource thing that we tore apart already. Gotcha. Yes, words. I I am very eloquent. Very articulated. Yes. <laughs> That was a weird bloop noise. Oh, that was the uh, derp bottle forming back into shape. Ah. So, do you remember way back when I was talking about the new Headmasters and Wolfwire, which is the new Weird Wolf? 
and how it very much reminded me of a gun wolf from the Zoids line. Vaguely? Vaguely. Good enough. Um, I recently picked up Six Shot. We, we get a new Six Shot. And his guns mounted onto the gun of Wolfire, and now he's slow, slow, slow down. Okay. For a sec. Yes. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, there's an asteroid that I see something at, like a shiny off to the side of it. Slowing down. Which way was it? Um, it's going to be very difficult for me to. Okay. Uh, we'll trade position since you know where it's at. Alright. Alright. At least I think I know where it's at still. Might be another Everything's derelict. right side up. <laughs> but anyway, as I was about to say, now more than ever, it's definitely a gun wolf. <laughs> Okay, yeah, there's the droid. Which one is your your spotting camera? Your first camera or your... Camera one. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, it was... It's just the way the asteroid is shaped. Okay. That cool. All right, keep on trucking, or do you want to take control again? You're welcome to go. All right. But Gunwolf. Yes. Yeah. The uh, with uh, six shots, gun mounted, guns plural adhered to the sides of Wolfwire's guns, it is definitely a gun wolf now, or I think that's what they were called. Okay. But don't take well, that. I, I've got to be honest, I don't remember much about Zoids, so... There wasn't much to remember. The show itself was a bit meh. It was okay, but it was kind of meh. That's why I wasn't heading straight for it. Camera funkiness. I gotta do it. But I do see our yellow ships blinking in and out of reality in front of us, so they didn't disappear. Awesome. At least I thought I saw them. And there's okay, our great station, so we gotta be careful with that. There they are. There you are, you big, ugly, beautiful things. Okay, one of the things we'll have to do before we uh, power these things on mm -hmm. is make sure the guns are disabled. Roger that. I know on one of them they it is, but the other one, since we're going to be taking them places... thing accelerates fast. Yeah, it does. Something you really want when it's time to GTFO. True. Granted, it does make it hard to maneuver for certain things. Yep. And I'm pretty sure we did cut the outer guns off. Uh, of the first one, I know. Okay. I, I was meaning the second one we caught, and we... I still see the outer guns on the second one. All right. And the beacon. So we're going to need to take that off as well. All right. I brought my basic tools with me. I went after the beacon. I'm after the guns. Actually, before I do too much on that, we need... Probably should lay claim to at least one large cargo container so we can toss everything in. Probably a good idea. Done got it. Yeah, I got one on this side, so... Okay. 
Is this the one that had the uh, rector completely shot out? Yes. I'm going to have to put the urnum in the small reactor. Alright. Oh, I was full, so I left. Stuff. <laughs> One of the uh, uh, containers on this has uh, a bunch of iron. Yeah, I thought I saw some ice as well, but I'm not sure. Uh, it's just the one that was I saw immediately yeah. in this. No, it it was iron. I I was going off of the appearance of gotcha. the. Uh... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, that's small pipe. Right. Rating. If that's a big rating station, that would be incredibly handy. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's one of the smaller ones. Well, even that one has some goodies on it. Yeah, I mean, we have close to a million steel plates after all this. Yeah. Especially with that thing. There's one or two interior turrets also, isn't it? Yes. Probably should try and take those out. Mm -hmm. That one? Must be turned upside down. Oh. Control panel. Turn. Okay. Whoop, got some stuff out here. And M I S. Okay. So it's just the interior turrets that are left. Okay. And if you go after those, I will grind into the uh, it grind into and redo the uh, command seat. Okay. But I figure you can dock your little ship to. Uh, this and we can uh, we're home. Yeah. Uh are you gonna yeah that's right, we're gonna try to get them both over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh grab the darn ammo please. Thank you. Now where is the other one? And we can get a a rough start on a base with these two ships and uh, what we already have right there's before only... while everything is getting charged up right there's only two interiors right uh-huh yeah. you already got the one in the other hangar yep we're going on the last one all right can you do me a favor mm -hmm. and share the location of the uh, uh, Station? Yes. Got it. Alright, uh, five. Okay. You've got 17 uranium in your large reactor. I'm taking the nine that has been processed. Mm -hmm. Okay, where the hell is the other... There you are. God, it, it's amazing losing something the size of these. Three-dimensional space, man. I know. It sucks. Alright. Uh, Alright. Oh, I gotta grind me down. down. Better turn these off. I guess that's one of the problems with having a battery. You can't figure out what's going on unless you go into the systems and look. Right. All right, you want to wait for you, or you want to go and start heading home? Uh, have you already sent the? Um, yeah. Go ahead, head home. All right. 
I'm going to jump in this. Okay, GPS, Civil Station, show on HUD. Stop twice as fast as I go forward. And turn that oh. off. Off we go. Oh, I got two in the back too. All right. Okay. Um. flying off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am overloaded. <laughs> I'm sure. But once I get up to about 50 or so, I think I'm going to just coast and start turning off things inside the ship. Alright, I've got 27 days of fuel and I'm at about 80, uh, 80 meters a second. I have 37 minutes. Gotcha. That's the difference between a small reactor and a large reactor. Mm -hmm. I'm also overloading constantly, so. Right. Alright. Dampener's off. We're heading. Alright. Dampener's on and readjust. Oh, I can't turn that stuff off, but I can turn lights off. Yeah, I've got like 15 minutes when my thrusters are going. Large that off. Refinery off. Turn all my lights off. Yeah, while drifting, I'm at two, two days. So, it'll just take us a while to get these back. I figure we can start, like I said, start uh, getting a small base set up with what we have. Right. Oh, definitely. A couple of refineries, probably can get some assemblers out of it. Multiple reactors. Yeah. I mean, we also have the big station that we can do something with. Right. Coming in a little hot. I'm slowing down. And I. It took me about three kilometers to get to my full speed, and I have three rear reactors or thrusters, and two forward. So. Oh wait, that's not the civil station. Where the hell is my station? At? Oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> I'm not very far out of the way though I'm about 10 kilometers out in the wrong direction okay because I am about 10 kilometers out okay um depending on how hot you come in you know I'm gonna try and keep an eye out for you yep when I hit about three kilometers I'm gonna start slowing down Probably Same about with me. probably about five really to be safe. Yeah. You know that is something we could do with these since they have landing feet. Mm -hmm. We could just land them on the asteroid. We could. I may actually do that. Because the landing gear work whether there's power or not, right? Well, yeah, sort of. Well, once they're docked, they stay docked, yes. Alright. Probably a good idea, then. Something weird with the um, speed, too. Even though my dampeners are off and I'm drifting, mm -hmm. fluctuating in speed. 
rapidly. That's because you have two subgrids. Ah. Gotcha. Oh, hi. 